everyone. Welcome to our show today. Today we're doing some special paintings. We're doing them for all of our wonderful friends that uh, actually they play music with us, but more than that, they're great friends. And we're still working on Howard and Connie's painting. So come over the board and we'll show you what we've done and what we're going to proceed to do. Okay, we've got a lot of detail in there and this river, I guess you'd call it, coming down through here, uh, looks pretty good. I, I may even use some of that white color. I like it because it comes around that way. Uh, one other thing I want to do here, let me get my uh, palette knife back out. I'm going to take about half of this color and put it over here so I can grab some of it every once in a while. Now, I really like the way my mountains look there, but I'm going to add just a uh, just a touch to them. Now the big, bigger mountain, I'm going to do almost the same thing. Now, mountains have got all kinds of little rocks and stuff in around them. So I'm going back and just adding a few little details. And you can work on mountains for hours and hours. You see what I've done there? I put a little ridge in it. Trying to get a little bit of edge on that one. Let me do it with a dark color. Now you can come back anywhere you want to and add a little extra. And let me show you a real pretty color. I'm going to grab a little of that light blue, go into the white. And if you get a little much, I'll go back and add a little black to it. Like that. I want a little bit in that valley there. Anyhow, you see you can just work and work and work and then more detail, more detail. Okay. Now, I really like the way these are looking here, but I, I want to highlight them a little bit because they're not way, way back. They're just behind our trees that we'll put in front here. So I'm going to highlight these a little bit. In order to do that, I'm going to grab a little of the yellow. Run out of spots here. I'm going to grab a little paint gray, a little of my dark color. Now I don't want this bright, bright. I don't want it to overshadow what we're going to do in front. So let's make sure that it's not too, I think that's about what we want. Let's, let's try a little bit of it. Now in order to highlight it, I'm just going to use the corner of the brush. And I don't want a lot of it, I just want enough to I 
I believe it needs to be just a touch lighter than that. Back into the yellow. I won't bother mixing that up real good because it's... I'm going to take the other corner, make sure... That's exactly what I want. You can't much tell it's there, but... I'll probably put a real beautiful highlight right in there. Over here I'm going to basically do the same thing. I just want to add a little detail to it. We've got a cold mountain, so I want to add a little warmth. And green usually does that. Okay, that's about what I had in mind there. Now, what we can do, I, I'm going to go ahead and do it here because this means a lot to your painting and how it's going to look. Okay, that's enough of that. I didn't get it very clean, did I? Let's do it one more time. Okay, that looks better. I'm going to grab a little yellow. I don't know if I can do it there or not. I'll try it. Grab a little red. A little white. Whip. A little more white. If that's too light, we'll change it, but we'll use it somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to grab a little roll, spread it out a little. I just want a little bit. I don't like it that light. I'm going to darken it a little bit. I just grabbed a little Van Dyke Brown. We probably will leave that bit. We got it in there, but I'm going to go back and darken it just a little bit. Okay. Grab a little more. Okay, I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to change it a little bit. See what I can do here. Beautiful. Same over here. See, I had a little much in there. Now, what that this does is sort of fades it out. You can still see them. But they're not very prominent, and that's the way I wanted it. Okay. Now what I need to do, I need to start building something up front here. So in, in doing that, uh, you know what? I should probably... <laughs> make sure...
that that's sort of flattened out a little bit. Now, I think I want to add some trees in here and, and maybe some large trees. Uh, uh, in order to do that, we probably should get a little flat. I'm going to grab a couple of them and just lay them here, okay? Now, in order to do that, I need some colors that, that you normally would put in them. I think I'm going to put uh, a large tree right here. And some of that color with Van Dyke Brown, I, that's my mountain color with a little Van Dyke Brown. That'll be the starting color. Let me rinse that brush out, just a little. Sort of hard to see the outline of that tree, but we'll make it more definite in a minute. Now, I probably put pine trees all around that. Probably should put a couple over here. Normally, I'll leave all that sky open because I love it, but I think I'm just going to add some trees in here this time. Those are pretty straight trees, aren't they? Okay. <clears throat> now, we can add limbs to them right now. Let's add a few limbs just for the, the fun of it. You want to? Now, normally when I've added the limbs, I use my little uh, liner brush, if I can find it. That's one of them. Let me look a little bit farther. Okay, both of those are good. One of them, uh, actually you can't make a tip with that one too good. Let's try this in a little bit and see what it does. I'm going to rinse that out. And I'm going to leave the thinner in it. It helps you if you're a little nervous when you're doing this. A little more thinner because it needs to stay thin in order to go over there real good. Let's add a few on this one. You want to? Most trees have hundreds and hundreds of these little limbs. Actually, you can add these later because, to be honest with you, about every one of these <laughs> will be covered up. Unless we make a false scene out of it, and then you'd see a whole lot of these. 
Let's go to the other side and add a few. Have you ever wanted to learn how to paint? Do you love to draw and doodle, but would love to make yourself a better artist? Then click on over to EarlRoseArt.com and check out the teaching DVDs. Earl will teach you step by step on how to be a better artist. Or you can browse the many items for sale in the shop, just like these. That's EarlRoseArt.com Mountain Music Showcase presents bluegrass, classic country, and southern gospel music performed by some of the Mountain Empire's best bands. Join us each Monday from 6.30 until 8 p.m. at the Crooked Road General Store in Bristol, Virginia. Together, we promote our musical heritage and provide an opportunity for bands to be featured on local television. Watch during primetime Saturday nights at 9.30 on the Tri-City CW. Bands who would like to be considered for an appearance on Mountain Music Showcase are asked to visit mountainmusicshowcase.com and leave a message. Okay, I'm just adding some limbs where I think they should be, or where I want them to be, actually. Let me get a little more thinner. That's the secret is to keep it sort of like ink. And again, I say, you know, you don't have to add these right now because your foliage well, about just about cover them up. Now we'll make that tree stand out a little bit. We'll actually use some of the color that uh, probably. that we used on the uh, background tree. There again, I need to get a little thinner on it. And I'll probably make it a little lighter than this eventually. Now I'll probably put some pine trees in and around these trees. I'm going to mix up something just a little bit lighter. Do just a little bit more work on the tree trunks. Now we're getting there. Do just a little more work on that, and then we'll come back and uh, do some foliage. Thinner.
have to keep it thin. I don't know if I got it thin enough yet or not. Perhaps there will be. Got too much thick color in it. Try to wipe it out. And I'm just rolling it in there. I'm trying to get a little more detail in them. We'll work with that more and more. And I'll show you what we'll do to the back side while we're working on the trees. See, that makes your shadow side of the tree stand out a little bit. A lot of this will be covered up, of course, but we enjoy putting it in there, right? Okay, I'm going to clean that out real good because I'm going to lay him down over there for a few minutes. Now, we can use a lot of different brushes to put your uh, background. Let's use our big old brush, you want to see? Now, the same in the trees. You need some dark to show the light. I got a hair hanging out of that one. It looks ugly. Anyhow, we'll try to use it. Let me see if I got enough color here mixed. I want to put a little more green in it. This is sap green, by the way. I'm not sure that that's not too dark. Let's try just a small amount of it and just see. Now I'm just jabbing my brush in there. That don't look too bad. I like to have a little darker, maybe. At least on the bottom. Let's do the other side basically the same way. Okay, I've got a lot darker there. That's okay. We'll, we'll lighten it somewhat.
All right. That's about what we want. Just about. I'm going to rinse that out. Trying to get most of that color out of it. We did. I'm going to drop it right over there. Now, you can add this other color with any brush that you want to. Sometimes I like to use a, uh, a little fan brush. Let's see if that is light enough. We got about a minute or so here. So let's let's put a, a little bit of stuff in here. Might have to thin that down a little bit. I'm going to cut off a little more of that yellow, put in there. See how that does. I'm going to get a little bit of thinner on it, okay? Whoops, that's probably too much. We'll make it do. Got about a minute. Okay, that'll help a little bit. We'll finish this side today. Or at least with this particular highlight. Now what I'm doing, I'm going right above, for the most part, above the uh, shadow color. And we'll probably come back and maybe highlight that a little bit more. But I guess we're going to have to wait till next week to do that. Anyhow, I'll put just a little bit right in here. Okay, I guess we'll see you next week. And uh, if you get a chance, I'll call the number on the screen and order some of our stuff. We'd appreciate that so much. Anyhow, goodbye and God bless.